A few people have asked how they can get started with screen tool. So in this video, I will give you a quick screen tool crash course. Let's get started. So there are four main elements that you need to be aware of when using screen tool. The desk, the block, the document, and the board. Okay, so let's see how everything works. So when you open screen tool, the first thing you see is your desk. And the desk is just an infinite canvas where you can be adding elements into it. And you only have one desk. It's like your home page, okay? You can always go back to your desk and start navigating and working from there if you wish to. So here, what can you do here? If you just double click, that's what we call a block. And a block is an element, is an element of content. You can add content inside of a block. So you can either explore pressing the, the bar here and then see all the options of things that you can add inside of that block, okay? I can say like heading, my block, okay? Or if you don't want to do double click and open that, you can just come here to the plus and then you can see all blocks that you can be adding here as well. So let's suppose I want maybe a divider. A divider block I can just add a block here okay so everything that I just added directly here appears as a block as a block of content okay so if I just take a block and come into those dots here and I move a block near to another block then I have created a stack the other thing is that I can move them now together okay and if I press the plus here I just add a block under it I can press the bar again or I can just, I can just write some content here. Okay. You can create from a block directly or, so if it's an image, you can just drag and drop and it will appear as a block there and you can resize. Okay. And if it's a, a file, for example, if it's a PDF file, I, we can open direct from to, into a screen tool. So you can just add a PDF and it'll be here as a block and you can see it. You can, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can resize. Okay. You can scroll through the through the pages. And if it's a different type of file, it will appear a little bit like this. It's just the name of the file and you'll be able to download that file. Okay. But if it's a PDF, then you can open it. So those are all blocks. So what is a block? A block is something that exists only inside of a canvas. It's a piece of content that you can arrange and organize here in space. But what if I want to use that content somewhere else? I want it to exist independently of this canvas. Let's suppose you work on the canvas to create a chapter of a book and now you want that to be a document, a chapter that exists outside of the canvas. Maybe you want to use somewhere else, okay? And that's where we convert that into a document, okay? So you can, there are multiple ways of deal with documents. You can come here on the plus down and let's say new doc and just click and now you have a new document with a title, the name of the document, name of document. And here, what you have inside are blocks of content, okay? So in the same way that blocks work in the canvas, they work in a document. You can press the slash and choose a type, for example, hey, heading to my document here. I can just start typing, okay? And add any of the other elements or if they are in the canvas, I could maybe move a block inside, I just grab the block and I move inside of the document. And if I just move, it will duplicate. See, now I have the same content in the canvas and in the document. Or if I press Option in Mac or Out in Linux and, and Windows, it moves, okay? And I can also move things outside. So if I just move again, it will duplicate. But if I press the Out, or option, then it will move that, that thing. And you can have duplications, as you can see, the same content block appearing multiple times. And I can go here and remove or just press backspace, okay? So that's one way to create a document. Come here on the plus, create a document. But now I'm working a lot with many blocks, creating those stacks and those stacks are meaningful. I can take a whole stack, okay? Whole stack and I can create a document. So the stack will disappear as content in the board and then now uh, in the canvas, sorry, and now it become a new document, new doc with blocks. Okay. And see, those are different documents. Okay. Those are not the same doc. This is called new doc with blocks <laughs> and this name of document. 
terrible names, but that's it. And you can also move like this block here, it's the same process. So I said the blocks only exist inside of, of the canvas. Where I say the document can be used in other place, but what do I mean by that? If you come here to the top bar and open the sidebar here, you can see that you can browse documents or docs, boards and tags. So every time you create a document, it exists in your library. You can just come there and even search here, my block. And you see here, new document with blocks, for example, and you can open them directly. Okay. You can even put it full screen so you can work on that document alone. And you can also search for it. So let's go back to the desk again. So home, my desk, I'm back to my desk, my home page. Okay. And I can search for documents. Okay. If I just put here, my block, it will appear here, new document with blocks. So I can just click, drag and drop, and it will appear at my desk. Okay. So I now I have two duplications of the same document. If I open here, I will see that they are exactly the same document. And when I see they are the same document is that if I change this, these also change. They are the same document. It's not a duplication of the document. It is the same document. So if I change anything, it will change in the all other places where the document appears. So the question is, in which other place can a document appear? And that is the board. So I can create board in multiple ways. I can go either here on the menu here down, create new board. I can press on the plus and choose new board. I can select multiple elements, right click and create a new board. Or I can go here to the top right corner and just say new board. And with that, I have a fully fresh uh, infinite canvas with a name that is just the date. And I can just click there and choose what's the name of my new board new board to test document okay so here what can i do i can start creating new blocks or i can bring something that i have already created somewhere else okay let's suppose you want a board to work with your team and then another board is a board for you to make sense of what you have discussed in a meeting so you can bring the documents from that board of the meeting uh, with your team into your personal board and reflect a little bit more around that document. So how can you bring that document that already exists? We can go to our search and we search for my block and then there is this new doc with blocks. Click, drag and drop and now the same document is here. Okay. I can double click to open like this or I can come here and say show full display and it's in the board. Okay. And if you, if you change here, here are some observations. It will change the document everywhere it appears. We'll see later in the desk. Okay. So that's, that's how we can add documents inside of boards. Okay. And you can only have one desk, but you can have multiple boards and the boards, you can find them again, either by searching. Okay. Or by coming here to the library boards, or as we saw, you can, you can go into my desk. Okay. I can add the board here. So I could have my desk pointing to the boards that I'm currently working on. That's an option. Okay. So I could just come here. New board test documents, drag and drop. And now I have the board here. So every time I double click, it will open the board for me. Okay. And that's how you can create multiple boards. And the last thing which is very important for Scrinto is the idea of links. And currently there are two types of links, okay? Or how we can understand links. So I'll just create here a new block, okay? There are visual links where you just come here to the bottom, draw connector, and then you create. You can say there is a link between this document and then this block, see? And I can move them around. And there is that visual arrow connecting them and the visual connector or the visual link only exists as a drawing. It's just really for you to make sense of what is in the screen, what's in the canvas right now. Okay. But there's another type of link that is very important and it's called a logical link. And what is a logical link? Let's suppose here I have, uh, let's create a new document. So create a new document, 
doc to be linked. So I, I named it doc to be linked. And if I come here in the content of my block, I can add a link with the slash again. So I say link, okay? And I can link to that document. I just start writing the name of it, link it, okay? And it will appear here on this list. We just click on it. And now there is a link between those two. This link is at the moment not a visual link, okay? It's just a logical link. And what it means to have a logical link? It means that I can click on it and open that document, okay? And every time we create, we manually create a link between a document or a board, okay? Because you can only create links between documents and boards, not with blocks, okay? Uh, Scrinto creates a reverse link. So I can go from this document to this document or come down here and see back links come from the other way around, from this document to that document, okay? And I can be jumping from one to another. Okay, that's a way with how you can navigate between boards, between uh, between documents as well. So this board, for example, every time we add an, a document or a board inside of the canvas, we automatically create a link between them. And that's why you can see the top right corner here links. If you click, you can see there are links between this board and the elements, the documents inside of this board. Okay. And do you remember that we have added this board inside of our desk? So we can just come here, okay, uh, and see boards, desk, okay? Boards and backlinks are the same thing, okay? So we can just come here, click, we are at the desk. If you come here, links, again, you can find here the board. And we can be going back and forward, back and forward between them. So that's it. That's a very quick, it's just a crash course or screen tool. And if you want to see a little bit more, I would say explore, check what's, what's in your top bar, open here the left side bar, check what's in the left side bar, check here what's in your menu, your private menu. Uh, you can also, you also have all this bar here down, check what each thing does. And for each canvas, you have these floating menus here. So check all the options that you have here. And there are two other places where you can also find information or things that you can do. You can right click on the canvas and see the options they have there, or you can select things. There is a hovering menu or also a right option, right click option, okay? So take some time to explore to see all the other things that you could do inside of Scrito. So I hope this crash course in Scrinto was useful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I see you in the next video.